Biden. We continue to believe the lies, and boy, they've got a roster of them that could fill <coughs> Shea Stadium. I will cut back. How many addicts can cut back? No hands went up. I will go to meetings and work a program. My uh, ex-partner used to tell me she was going to a meeting, even though she wouldn't like those people. But she tell, would tell me she was going to a meeting, and she'd come back six hours later. Now, guys, are your meetings six hours long? She'd be gone all night long. But she was at a meeting, and I was supposed to believe that. I will go to rehab and quit for good. This is where a lot of things go wrong because we want so badly for them to do it. The woman I was with finally, finally, after 13 years, said, I'm going to go to rehab. She never said that before because she wasn't like those people. She agreed to go into a 21-day program. I was jumping up doing the happy dance. This is it. This is the time she's going to do it, even though she'd never done it before in 13 years. This was the time it was going to happen. I was sure of it, even though there was a little teeny it Bitty, bitty small voice in my head saying, don't believe this, Philomena. But I did, because I loved her and I wanted her to be well. So she went. She went to rehab. And you know, there's that period in the beginning where you can't talk to them on the phone. So when she finally was able to call me, I heard a voice that I hadn't heard since the very beginning of our relationship, clear not slurring the words. She was making sense. She sounded optimistic, happy, full of life, full of joy. I thought, oh my God, it worked. It worked. She's well. I'm going to be well. All is going to be well. We're going to be okay. Then I got to go pick her up. And when I picked her up, she looked fantastic. It's amazing what 21 days without heroin and alcoholic and assortment of pills will do for you. She looked fantastic when I went to go pick her up. She got in the car all full of opportunities. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to change my life. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm, 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 I'm. Everything looked rosy. But I still had that little teeny small voice saying, oh. I was so afraid to really, really, really believe it. But I was even more afraid not to. So we get home. And I think it was about oh, I don't know, 48 hours. I'd gone to work, come home, and I pulled up in front of the house and something said to me, go through the back door. I never went through the back door. Something said to me, go through the back door. So I did, I went around back, and there in all her glory and splendor, she was in the bathroom with two humongous windows where I could see right in, standing there firing up a pipe of heroin. Hadn't even been 48 hours. I don't even know if I can put into words how I felt at that moment. So bad. Like the bottom had dropped out and I was in a free fall. I had no idea that I was going to come back up from.